If you could tell me who the her picture is of. This is my sister, Anna Mary, my one and only. She was the youngest in the family. She married Ole Glass. They moved to Milwaukee. She had seven children. At about age 47, she died. She's buried in Milwaukee. Her husband died just recently, also buried there. That's Anna Mary was her name. And you said she had leukemia? No, that, oh. that's not the one. No, okay. That's about it, I guess, on her now. Go to your next picture. My mother. And how old is your mother in this picture? About. And the picture is probably 82 years old. She lived a couple more years after that. That's my mother, Mrs. Adam Agnes Schmaltz Kraft. Where was this mm. picture taken at? That was taken. Right here in, in Linton. Is it outside this house? No, it's, she had a, a, her own house up near the hospital there in the little home. Okay. Then you're next. Oh, what's your canteen boy at the same time? That works. Mm. And these are. Ready? This is the sod house where my wife Agnes, Agnes Kramer, was born and her sister Catherine Klein of Strasbourg. This, there were midwives there to help them get delivered, but they were both born in that broken down, broken down, broken down sod house, west of Strasbourg, about 10 miles southwest. And is the top one the one you have the picture? Of? Yes, yeah. That's just, just a painting, painting yeah. Mm -hmm. Who did that painting again? Uh, Catherine Klein, my wife's sister. Okay. Great. The one that was also born there. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Shall I read this whole thing now? Sure. Yeah, if you could read to us what is written on it, okay. that would be helpful. Ready? Yeah. Adam Kraft, father of Peter A. Kraft, at Rumley Oil Pool Tractor Convention in Aberdeen, South Dakota, in about 1920. Adam, my father, is the second from the right in the first row on the front. So he would be, you can go ahead and feel point him out which one he is? This would be him. Okay. Move it over. Oh, that's great. Yeah, the caption told it all. Mm -hmm. pictures first. Oh, right there. Tell me if it isn't quite right. Oh, that's fine. That works just fine. And who is this of? Me, myself. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. This is Peter and Agnes Kraft on their wedding day, November 4th, 1941, married in Holy Trinity Catholic Church, 10 miles southwest of Strasbourg. How did you and your wife meet? At a dance in Strasbourg. At a dance one night. Though. And how long did you court her before you guys were uh, married? A little better than three years. Wow. Yeah, we courted her. Of course, a lot of that time I was away in college. I didn't see much of her during that time. You guys kept in touch? Oh, yeah. We always wrote letters. No telephone. At that time, there were no telephones. Not out in the country where she lived. And how long were you guys married before you had your first... Child. Mm, which is what do you want? Th three years, I think. Yeah. Three, yeah, three years. Wow. That's great. And it was that she actually had a white dress. I heard some people did black dresses because they could wear it again. Cause she no, at that time everybody had white. They all had white dresses. Oh, okay. And was that? Tucks you could wear to church from That's, on to? There, there were no tuxes at that time. Suit. No, I wore it. That's just my suit, a new suit that I bought. Uh, this is uh, Sergeant Peter A. Kraft, served during World War II. Picture was taken at Fort Snelling, Minnesota, near Minneapolis, in 1943. So you would have been how old again in 43? Well, that's prob probably 20. 
two years old or less. Yeah, because yeah, you just finished, you were almost finished with college. Right. Okay. Great. Well, do you have one of them already? Not with you in your uniform, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have that one. Okay. This is Corporal Peter Ray Craft and his wife Agnes. Picture was taken at Fort Snelling, Minnesota, in about 1943. Yeah, no, that's great. Okay. This is Holy Trinity Catholic Church in 10 miles southwest of Strasburg, where Peter Kraft married Agnes Kramer. That's also where her sister Catherine married Leo Klein. Okay. Okay. This is just a nice uh, hill about half mile south of the Ludwig and Odelia Kramer farm at Krasna, 10 miles southwest of Strasbourg. This is the Odelia and Ludwig Kramer farm, southwest of Strasbourg, about 10 miles. It was uh, operated until more recently by son Raymond. Raymond died just a few weeks ago, and now the vac farm is vacant. When was this picture taken? About, about 10 years ago? Probably 10 years ago, about 10 years ago. I think it got an, an award at that time for being one of the nicest. Oh, I suppose. There's a specialist for Robert Leo Kraft, son of Peter and Agnes Kraft, who was killed in Vietnam on August 5, 1969. Just a couple of weeks before he got killed, he took this picture with Sebastian Cabot, known as Mr. French, in that show All in the Family. There's a picture of some of my friends that were inducted into the army. At, this was taken at Fort Snelling before they got their uniform. I was already living there and had my uniform on, so you'll see me with my military cap. They're all boys from our area here. Could you tell me their school? Or as many as you know from laughter? Mm. This, I believe, is Leo Nagel. Okay. This is... Uh, Mr. Feist, he just died here a couple of weeks ago. F-E-I-S-T. -E this is a Mr. Silvernagel. This is myself, already in uniform. That's all I can identify at this time. Okay. Does want to take this too? Sure. Peter A. Kraft and wife Agnes. Uh, where are you guys at? This is probably taken maybe at the KC Hall here in Linton, the way it looks. Okay. That's going to be it. Okay. Some of my winnings in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've already made 126 trips there. Hope to make a 127th trip. Always take in the slot tournaments. Usually win money. One time when the wife was still alive, we took first place in the slot tournament for $125,000. That was fun. But Uncle Sam took uh, 38,000 of that. Our state took 8,000. So it was 46,000 gone. Just gone, period. But it was still fun having over 80,000 left. 
About when did you and your wife start these trips? That was these trips? in 1985. That's when you started? Mm -hmm. This is the Kraft family. This is Alois Spitz, we called him. This is Anton Jordi, we called him. This is John Hunts, we called him. This is my mother, Agnes Kraft. This is brother William, Bill, we called him. Our sister, Anna Mary, and myself, Peter. So just the two of you didn't get nicknames? I had nicknames, too. What was your I was, name? I was the donkey. The donkey? What about your sister? She was uh, uh, Clemens, we called her, because she kind of liked the neighbor boy whose name was Clemens, so we called her Clemens. That was always our Clemens. How did your other brothers get their nicknames? Spitz, you know, in German, Spitz means real thin, and he was always fat, so they called him <laughs> the Spitz. How do you spell that? S-P-I-T-Z, okay. Spitz. Yeah. And Jordi, I know where he got his nickname, Jordi, but he's Jordi. And Hans, John, that's a short for John, it's Hans. A lot of Johns are called Hans. H-U-N-S. H-O-N-S, Hans. Oh, okay. This, of course, my mother, Agnes. Mm -hmm. Bill, the group we called him. Group means uh, kind of shrunk up and tiny. He was all kind of shrunk up and tiny when he was little. So he was Grupf, G-R-U-P-F, Grupf. And, of course, his, and then me, and the donkey or, or Isl, Isl in German. How do you spell that? E S S E L in German and donkey, D O N K E Y. The way I got that name is uh, uh, our neighbors had uh, donkey horses, and they were lots easy to keep up. They, I'd all say, the essen nicht zu viel, scheißen nicht zu viel. Don't eat as much as horses. Don't let as much manure go as horses. Don't drink as much water as horses. I praised up the donkey, so they started calling me donkey. Is that clear enough? Mm -hmm. That works. This is Robert Leo Kraft, the one that was killed in Vietnam in August 5th, 1969. A door fell on his leg and broke it, so he was rushed to Bismarck St. Alexis Hospital. The guy took him up there was Matt Sheely. He had a Lincoln car, drove it 100 miles an hour, was up there in less than 30 minutes. This is a picture we have of him getting over that broken lake. How long did he have to stay like that? Probably three, two or three weeks, I think. And then did Not he too have long. some kind of cast on it after? Then a cast, yeah, it didn't take long. Young, you know, it didn't take long. He was completely over it. Running around again? Right. This is a wedding of Peter A. Kraft and his wife Agnes Kramer at the Holy Trinity Catholic Church in Krosna, southwest of Strasbourg. The priest that married them was Father John Selder. Bridesmaids, uh, Rose, uh, Rose Miller, and uh, the best man, Wendlin Kramer and Jacob Bauman, and uh, I can't identify the other two. Okay. Wait. That's fine. Yeah, well, I don't identify them, just, well, maybe my best buddy. Okay, those are just a bunch of classmates the, the, from... Uh, from Minot State University. A bunch of my buddies. No, my best buddy was the little fella here. Leland Larson, he was real short and tiny. They called us Mutt and Jeff because we were always together. That's great, thanks. Mm -hmm. Want to take this too? Sure. Okay. Specialist for Robert Leo Kraft, killed at Aishau Valley, Vietnam, at Hamburger Hill on August 5th, 1969, at age 19. I always listen to the radio 
uh, to hear what casualties there were that Sunday morning. They said one soldier killed on Hamburger Hill, Vietnam, Asia Valley. Killed this morning. Two days later, the message came, that was my son. That, I, that was it. I think you're done, really. Minot State University, when I graduated in July of 1946. Is that going into the ceremony there? That's after the ceremony. Okay. And here again. Okay. That's just you? Yeah. Peter A. Kraft, graduating from Minot State University. July of 1946, Bachelor of Science degree in Education. Okay, good. Okay. That was at Minot State University when we had a whisker contest. So I became, was voted the whisker king at that time. And this is another one. My buddies, Mr. Baker, he and I are pulling each other's beards. And you are on the... And I'm on the right here. Okay. And I was the winner of the... I was the whisker king. In fact, I made it two years in a row. The next year, I made it again. How long did you guys grow it? Before I'd say that? six or eight... Six to eight weeks, something like that. Okay. This is Ramona Kraft, my second oldest daughter, a registered nurse. She died a few years ago of leukemia. She got two quarts of bone marrow from her brother. Doctors thought everything was fine, till all of a sudden fungus set in. A couple of days later, she was dead. There was nothing they could do once fungus sets in. Mm -hmm. She was 46 years old, died at the University, University Hospital in Minneapolis. Do this as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Those are the Strasbourg Knights of Columbus members, a newly clubbed uh, organization formed in Strasbourg. J.P. Wickenheiser was the president. Peter A. Kraft was the vice president. That was formed in 1947. This, I think you already took that. Yeah? Yep, we did yeah. one like that, yeah. Okay. This is a f flag of real flowers that was purchased by the, some people for our son's funeral, especially for Robert Leo Kraft after he was killed in Vietnam. Okay. This is specialist for Robert Leo Kraft, killed in Vietnam August 5th, 1969. He was age 19 when he got killed. And this picture was taken shortly before? Picture was taken shortly before that, yes. Okay. All right. This is Ludwig and Odelia Kramer, Mrs. Peter A. Kraft, Agnes' parents, lived 10 miles southwest of Strasbourg on a farm until they retired into Strasbourg and later died there. Do you know about when this picture was taken? Probably, probably 1930, somewhere in there. Okay. And we're right at the end of the Go ahead, the, Freddie. This is a picture of my dad, Adam Kraft, my mother, Agnes Kraft, and the oldest son, Anton. And how old is Where he? Where was he okay. born? Anton was born in 1903. My dad died at age 54 on uh, May 30th, 1935. My mother died at age 85 on January 15th. And, and Anton died 
1973, I believe. And I saw the back. This was taken about 1905. So Anton would have been about two years old? Probably, yeah. Okay. Something like that. Okay. That's, uh... Patton's Craft Grant. This is Martin Miller and his wife. I don't know his, her first name. They were the grandparents of Agnes Kraft. And then, do you know when this one was taken? I have no idea, okay. but many years ago, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Agnes Kraft's grandmother lived in the Strasbourg area and died there. Agnes Kraft's grandpa, he lived in the Strasbourg area and also died there. His name, their name was Miller. Okay. That's the same thing, I guess. Okay. This is Sergeant Kraft at Fort Snelling and a, another soldier just uh, showing off, I guess. Who's the picture in, of? I, I don't remember that his name okay. anymore, but this is Corporal Kraft at that time. Okay. It was taken in about 1942. Okay. And you're not sure who that is of? No, I, okay. I'm not sure. Okay. Go ahead. Agnes Kraft and husband Pete, a soldier at Fort Snelly. Minnesota, 1943. No, 1945. Outside just one of the buildings? Yeah, outside of one of the Fort Snelling buildings. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Private Peter Ray Kraft, soldier at Fort Snelling, Minnesota, shortly after he got into the Army in 1945. Private Peter A. Kraft at Fort Snelling, Minnesota, and his wife Agnes, taken while Peter was doing basic training in 1945. You, she came to visit you quite a bit. Well, she lived there. She worked she at the officer's mess. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, she lived right with me. So she, she just worked in the officer's mess hall. That was right. her job? Right. Okay. And at night time, we stayed at uh, my commanding officer's. He gave us a room there. We stayed there. Okay. So we were together a lot of the times while I was in the service. Okay. Even when I went out to California and, and Texas. And of course, when I went overseas, that was done then. She just followed you around? Yeah, she always followed. always working in right. something? Working in the cafes most of the time, yeah. Was that common? Did a lot of soldiers' wives? Well, whenever it worked out for me, yeah, they, they followed them. Okay. Well, it's me again and... 1946, I know. 1946? Yeah. You're not in your youth? Well, that's, no, that's okay. graduated from college, yeah. Oh, okay. Peter A. Kraft, graduating from Minot State University in the summer of 1946. Soldier Peter A. Kraft at Fort Snelling, Minnesota, shortly after he got into the Army. Still a private at that time. Okay. Christmas 1943. Grandma Agnes Kraft and some of her grandchildren. I don't know who they are. Soldier Peter A. Kraft at Fort Snelling, two of his nephews. I don't remember who they are anymore. 
John Kramer, Agnes Kraft's paternal grandfather. Okay. Don't know when. That's fine. I think we already saw one like that. Okay. Agnes Schneider, Agnes Kraft's maternal grandmother, taken in the Strasbourg area. Let's see, where was that? Okay. Peter Ray Kraft, out on some farm. Don't remember where the place was anymore. That wouldn't be your old farm? Probably well, at the old farm, yeah. Okay. All right, go ahead. Ludwig Kramer and his wife, Odelia Kramer, their oldest son, Pius, Her daughter Catherine, her daughter Agnes, son Raymond, son Father Peter Kramer. I can't tell the rest of them. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Mrs. Peter A. Kraft, Agnes. And her nephew, don't remember which one it is, and their dog. Do you know where that was taken? Out on the farm by the Kramer farm. farm. Okay. I don't know the date. The date isn't on there. Okay. Okay. Peter A. Kraft and Agnes, his bride, on the wedding day, November 4th. 1941, at Holy Trinity Catholic Church, 10 miles southwest of Strasbourg. That's you two in front? Yeah. And then your party and the behind you? Bryce made some, my sister Anna Mary, Rose Miller, another bride made, Wendlin Kramer, and Jake Bauman, groomsman. Okay. This is okay. Ludwig and Odelia Kramer House, built in about 1948, southwest of Strasbourg. This again is a the old house of Ludwig and Odelia Kramer in Krasna, ten miles southwest of area of Strasbourg, just before they built a new house at the same site. Build. Okay. Bard built at the Odelia and Ludwig Kramer farm again in about 1950. Okay. Okay. Ludwig Kramer farm and some of their livestock again in about 1950. Did they only have sheep or did they no, have? No, they had uh, hogs and chickens, a little of everything, you know. Done yep, good. Okay. This is Agnes Kraft, my wife, her sister Katie Klein, Strasbourg, doing their chores on the farm. I think husking corn, I think is what it is. Yeah. Oh, it looks like, yeah. Husking husk corn, yeah. Agnes Kraft's brother, Pius, and her sister, Katie. Okay. Leo, Leo Klein of Strasbourg, 
and his sister, Anne Klein of Strasbourg. Leo married Katie Kramer. The tall man is Eugene Klein and his brother Leo Klein of Strasbourg. Eugene later on became a head of the highway, North Dakota Highway Patrol. Leo worked in the post office in Strasbourg for many years. Kramer reunion at Holy Trinity Catholic Church in Strasbourg, 20 miles southwest, 10 miles southwest of Strasbourg. Father Peter Kramer had the Mass that day at this gathering. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, Ludwig and Odelia Kramer. Family reunion, a bunch of relatives from Germany were here at that time. And Father Peter Kramer celebrated the Mass at that church, Holy Trinity, 10 miles southwest of Strasbourg. Well, that's about it. This is the inside of the church. Okay. The Ludwig and Odelia Kramer reunion. This inside the Holy Trinity Catholic Church at Krasna, 10 miles southwest of Strasbourg. Okay. This is Leo Klein and Katie, Katie Kramer, Agnes Kraft's sister. They got married at Holy Trinity Church in Krasna in about 1939, I believe. And Schmidt. Okay. Leo Klein and his sister Anne Schmidt. She got married to a Schmidt. Taken, I believe, during their first, first Holy Communion. It's no, no year there. This is the Klein store of Strasbourg. Michael Klein was the owner. Leo Klein is in there, pictured. This was taken on July 10th, 1929. It was a general grocery store. Michael Klein and his wife of Strasbourg, they operate a store there. And this is one of their children. I don't know which one it is. Okay. Leo Klein, city of Strasbourg. Well, maybe it'll turn out. Oh, well. Do you have any idea about... When it would have been he probably told him about 1920, I'd say. Okay, and that's all in Strasbourg? The city of Strasbourg, the year about 1920. Okay. Uh, let's see what I've got there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is, I was a cup master, Mrs. Waller and Mrs. Keller. Okay. Peter Ray Kraft. Cup Master of Strasbourg, North Dakota, 1947. Then mothers of Mrs. Waller, Mrs. Keller. Okay. 
How did you like being a cub master? It was okay. It was my first time. It was a little hard at first, you know, till you get used to it. Chaplain Peter A. Kraft of the American Legion of Linton and Commander um, Sheila Rorick. She's presenting him with a plaque for his 45 years, consecutive years, as chaplain of the Linton American Legion. Are you still it's, chaplain? And I'm still chaplain. That was in 9, 2002. Now it's been uh, 50... 54 years that I've been chaplain, consecutive. Wow. I think I should qualify for the Guinness World Book of Records so. for being a chaplain the longest number of years in a, in a legion. Oh, I, think I would so. probably qualify. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. And this was taken on my 85th birthday, I think. Pete's, no, 87th. At Lee and Sharon's house in Bismarck. Peter A. Kraft of Linton, 87 years old this day, picture taken at Lee and Sharon Klein's home in Bismarck, North Dakota, in 2002, May 17th. Right. This again is my son, Robert. Okay. Robert Leo Kraft, killed in Vietnam, August 5th, 1969, at age 19. Son of Peter and Agnes Kraft. That's a good one. Yes. Okay. Peter A. Kraft of Linton, North Dakota. Picture taken about about the year two thousand. Okay. That's it. That works. <laughs> 